Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create this poster inside of Photoshop. Right? If you've not gotten your Smart Designer Premium Asset, it's still very much available. Where we have your template, your flyer templates, over 100 flyer templates, your backgrounds, your light effects, and so many other goodies. And also, if you've not gotten your flyer templates you can click the link in the description of this video to get yours for club designs and any of designs that you want to actually do right and um without having to say much let's get started all right so the first thing i need to do is click on file and um, click on new and um i'm just going to include the name here so it's going to be burger flyer and um I'm going to be using a 4 by 5 inches, please. Resolution 300 and click OK like this. Right? Okay, so um, the first thing you need to do, adjustment layer and um, use this color. So it should be black like this. Um, you want to go on and select your pen tool. Make sure your pen tool is set to shape and not part, please. Right, and I'm just going to draw something like this. Uh, don't be scared to click, 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 and click. Right, so um, click on noise and add noise to it. Smart objects, yes, this is too much, so reduce it. And um, when you're done, just click OK like this, and uh, this is what you have. Move it down a bit. So directly on top of this, make sure your foreground color is set to this is the color code and click OK. I'm going to select my brush and um, I'm going to make use of this brush. So what you want to do is click somewhere around here, make the brush bigger and uh, I'm going to change the blend mode to screen and uh, while it's still selected, make a duplicate copy of this Ctrl T bring this here and rotate it like this and place this here Okay. When I don't click enter like this. Ctrl G. And move this here. Convert to smart objects. And um, change this to screen back. Okay, so we have our base points here with these two lights. So let's go over and to our source file. The source file is in the graphic design, uh, smart designer premium assets, right? So um, I'm just gonna open it up inside PNG. I'm gonna search for burger. And of course you can see you have different kinds of burger there, but I'm gonna use the first one for the purpose of this video. Right, so I'm just going to make it smaller like this. Bring this down here like this. And um, position this well. Make it smaller like this. And um, just position it somewhere around here. So, um, I just love this bugger because it looks like something that's in motion already. So, creating a new layer under it. And I want to sample this dark color for the shadows. Now, I'm going to click on the brush, B for brush, create a new layer here, and click um, 100, please. Click once, click twice, click three times, Ctrl T, and bring this here, rotate it like this, and uh, yes, you have your nice shadow. Uh, 
where you can see um, the shadow is not um, it's not shadowing well. So what you need to do is create a mask on it, go over to the brush and um, conceal these areas. Please make sure this is set to black. Right, so conceal these areas like this. And uh, there you go. Uh, nice and easy shadow. So apply some blur effects, but not too much. Just somewhere around here is good. And um, click OK. So you can duplicate this and take this up, right? And uh, make it smaller. I can place this somewhere around here to create a nice reflection. Then also Gaussian blow to blow out the edges, something like this. And we are good to go. Add some Gaussian blow to this. Shouldn't be too much. Create a mask. Control I to invert the mask and only paint on areas that you want blood. So, so I'm just going to paint on these areas like this. This. You can press X on your keyboard to reverse that. And press X back again to go back to initial states. So that's before and after. You can see it has done a good job for us. I don't have to use the tilt shift for this. Okay. I move this to this part here. Make it slightly bigger. Click enter. Filter, blow. And um, rotate this. Duplicate this, bring this here. And um, you want to rotate this this way, like this. And um, you're good to go with that. I'm going to select this and select this, select this, select this. Move this downwards like this. I'm going to go back to my resource file where I have my resource file. So this is the image I used. Rotate this and uh, make it bigger. Rotate, make it bigger. And position this here. Filter, blow, Gaussian blow. Copy my settings for this and click OK. Hue and saturation. And uh, right click on it, make sure you're clipping it on the image so it doesn't affect everything. Click on colorize and increase the saturation. So reduce it like this, make sure it's not too much.
okay so you can control it any way you want but i'm just going to control t and move this to this side i'm going over to where i have my text i typed all of this out to save us some time of course so we don't spend the whole day trying to work on our text so drag this all the way to the top to have it somewhere here and um, as you can see our design has been complicated right um if you've liked this um particular video please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you've learned something new hit the thumbs up i'll see you in the next video ciao